So hi, hello and welcome again, Micro Punter here. Today in this video, I want to give you my take, uh, my opinion on buying microscopes. And specifically, I would like to share with you a post on Reddit that I found, which addresses exactly the very same uh, same issue. It's a very common uh, debate uh, that you can find um, online um, uh, as well. Opinions diverge very, very, very much. I would like to uh, basically give you my take on this. But um, uh, let's uh, let's read it first, uh, okay? Um, is is there value to be held uh, had outside of the big four? Uh, this refers to the big four traditional microscope uh, manufacturers. So basically the title I've been looking into getting a microscope of my own recently and my dad's been helping me find one. Um, He's worked most of his career using various types, mostly petrographic microscopes. So these are basically microscopes that are used for looking at uh, rock samples and minerals. So for, in geology, for example, you use those. And from that, when buying mine, he said that we should only be looking for the one of the big four. The big four are microscope manufacturers are Nikon, Zeiss, Leica and Olympus and I've been doing that so far but I haven't found any good used scopes let's remember this term over here used scopes near me I see tons of Amscope and similar Amazon brands but he's basically convinced that throwing your money away um, if you buy one of those I was just wondering is there any validity to this that's an interesting one here and should I just keep trying to find something like Leica from the big four, in other words, um, or are there any other good options? And I think there are. Um, considering the microscopes we've been looking at currently, price isn't too much of an issue, just something that will last for ages. So there are a couple of interesting points here that I would like uh, to, to take apart here. And I'm going to start in a very fundamental way. And that is, is um, yeah, uh, yeah, is there a value? What do you mean with value? The term value and quality mean so many different things to so many different people. And unless you specify what you mean with value, um, I think it's going to be a difficult one. So let me uh, pick it apart. If you go online and if you read uh, online forums and if you communicate with other people, there seem to be two kind of big, um, how do you say, categories of mindsets out there. There are some people who say you have to buy microscopes from Nikon, Zeiss or Leica or Olympus. This has almost become like a, like a yeah, everything else is is out of question right from the beginning um, and best yet if you cannot afford new microscopes because they're expensive really significantly more expensive if you cannot afford new microscopes then buy used microscopes from let's say the 1970s or 1980s from these brands the second hand market is large no question then you're going to get much more value whatever that means um, yeah, for the money so that is uh, one one mindset, and the other mindset is is well actually um, who cares? Uh, let's just go for the the cheaper ones, Amscope, um, yeah, Swift, Amscope, a variety of other larger and smaller brands. Um, they're all manufactured in China, um, and then uh, exported uh, to other countries, uh, and then rebranded. So basically, theoretically, what I could do um, is, is I could talk to one of those uh, microscope manufacturers. I could slap my my brand on it and sell it to you. I mean, it's not a, not a, not not complicated. Um, so uh, this also explains why many of those microscopes uh, actually look quite similar because many of the parts are actually the same um, because uh, they're just manufactured uh, by a company and then uh, put on different uh, microscope models and then rebranded with each one with a separate logo and then basically sold uh, for affordable prices um, um, online. Okay, so these are the two different um, uh, approaches, and some people are basically are say of, uh, out of hand. It's a no go. Never ever touch, go even near uh, those uh, cheaper models. And uh, others say is definitely always go for um, uh, for 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 used ones of, of the big four. I mean, and it, it's almost honestly, I think uh, almost have has become a, what a, almost a, almost a religious debate uh, concerning that. Uh, there's so much ideology in there, um, so. I, I I have to be honest with you, if you just read a couple of German microscopy forums, um, the opinions are really strong sometimes. And some people say anything uh, uh, which is not Zeiss or Leica, which are German companies, obviously, I mean, they, they won't even go near it, right? Um, so uh, you see, it's, it's, a, it's a question of ideology. Now, your father, um, the, the per person who wrote this, his uh, father has been working um, in probably industry or research. And then, of course, it's clear that uh, he, he favors uh, those microscopes because uh, those uh, brands, they basically manufacture primarily for industry and research. And uh, they 
also have microscopes that are highly specific um, and highly um, um, yeah, specific for certain tasks. So it's clear that um, yeah, if you already have experience with those microscopes that you have a certain um, and expectations. However, I want to uh, tell you the following. Um, the situation nowadays is different than it was maybe 20 or 30 years ago because nowadays we do have a quality of surprisingly good quality uh, cheaper microscopes uh, available um, and the situation is different um, especially concerning image quality a lot has happened over the last couple of years and one of the reasons is is primarily two developments that have happened over the last maybe 30 years or so um, number one is, is uh, there are now different uh, glass formulations when making the lenses now it's possible to make uh, lenses that were well, they could not make before uh, re concerning refractive index and so on that's uh, one thing and number two the second change is, is that now with uh, modern uh, computers uh, modern computer optimization of of, uh, of of lenses and of light path calculations so in other words they are now able to do uh, optimizations um, and they are now able to make lenses and, and objectives microscope objectives that they were not able to make before um, this means that some people have actually said is that the, the objectives that you're getting these days um, are, probably are working even better than the high quality objectives of, of long time ago. Yeah, because there has been simply so much development in technology. So um, that's simply also something that you have to take into consideration. But let's go back now a little bit to the to the original um, question that uh, that I had before, and that is is uh, what does actually uh, what does value mean, right? Uh, what is value? Right? And there are different um, ways that you can actually look at that. And maybe my points that I'm going to mention now, maybe they help you. Um, it could basically, uh, value could mean um, simply a certain brand name. Simply having the brand name on the microscope, Olympus, Leica, Zeiss, Nikon, maybe that is already something where you essentially see this as a value because maybe a higher resale value possibly, right? Um, or do you mean value with uh, maintainability, um, modularity, um, um, also the size of a second-hand market? Is this what you mean with value? If this is what you mean with value, then by all means go with a, a big four. Um, because um, yeah, especially uh, they have a larger second-hand market um, and they can also be uh, repaired. Um, there are actually, I'm not saying it's cheap, uh, but yes, there are service companies that actually um, repair and maintain and clean uh, microscopes of, of those big four brands. As a matter of fact, uh, those uh, big uh, four brands actually um, also sometimes offer, um, how do you say this, qualified uh, yeah, technical maintenance um, licensed technical maintenance, uh, so they will actually go from um, institute to institute from the university and maintain their microscopes, so that the people who are using those microscopes they don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, or do you want to? Do you see what do you mean with value of easy returns? So if you're not happy with a microscope that you're able to return it, is that important for you? Uh, then I have to tell you the following: If easy returns, you want to try it out and you want to send it back if you're not happy then you have to go with the cheaper brands over Amazon. Because if you buy one of the big four brands, th there is no easy returns. You cannot just basically order a microscope from them, uh, try it out, and then if you're not happy, just send it back. It's not going to work like this. Because the way that the microscopes are bought is different. You have to get yourself an offer. You've got to contact someone. You've got to get an offer. Um, they will put the microscope together for you according to your specifications. Um, they will. You have a waiting period, a waiting time. I had to wait for my microscope uh, um, for about two months. Right. Um, then um, basically, yeah, it's delivered. Um, and then if you're not happy with it, what then? Right. You cannot just send it back. Yeah, uh, so that's a completely different way of um, of actually um, uh, buying and, and uh, buying those microscopes. Or does a value mean for you having highly specific features? Yeah, let's say you want to have um, specific optics, uh, long working distance optics, water immersion objectives. I have no idea. Differential interference, contrast microscopy, phase contrast, fluorescence. Um, yeah, then you probably would like to look a little bit more in, into the big four. So you see what I'm. What's my point here? Is is my point is is you have to be clear what you mean with value, right? Before you're able to make a decision. Yeah, and. I have to tell you as well is if you are mostly into hobby microscopy and amateur microscopy where you do not have any specific research requirements, then 
what is valuable to you depends to a large extent also on your own expectations. I think that's so important. Yeah? Um, the best microscope is the one that you will be using the most often and the one that you enjoy using the most often. It's not always a question of image quality. Yeah? It's all, not always a question of technical quality. Right. Um, and sometimes there's also this personal connection. Now you've mentioned here um, on the yeah it will last for ages. Well, on, honestly, if you take care of a microscope, pretty much any microscope is going to last for ages. But because you're already saying it, well then, if this is the case, then uh, go for a microscope from 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 those big uh, companies. But I will tell you the following: um, you'll be pending, paying uh, uh, significantly more. Uh, but you're not going to see significantly more with those microscopes. So you you see you have to make a choice now. Uh, you can do serious uh, ham, uh, amateur and hobby microscopy also with low-cost uh, microscopes that cost 400, 500 euros or dollars, right? Um, and that's the fraction of a price uh, than, than those uh, over here, right? Um, so essentially, you see... Um, it's a more question of where do you place your emphasis and your father very clearly placed a strong emphasis uh, I would say probably on um, on brand name and because he was used to working with those uh, microscopes because these were highly specific microscopes petrographic and it's clear I mean you're not going to get a, 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 a I don't know for 300 euros a, a, a new uh, petrographic microscope you're going to get a used one probably uh, yeah from, from those brands and if this is what you want to have then that's great Right, right. So you see um, the, that this is not a straightforward answer. So I would like to give you now a couple of uh, possible um, um, options that you have. So number one, and I'm not saying that one of them is better than the other. I'm just I'm throwing it out uh, to you. Op option one: start with a low-cost new microscope and then later go for one of the big four. Um, use the, the the time to learn microscopy um, and get started quickly because until you find a used microscope uh, that uh, fits your needs for an affordable price, basically it might require. Some time, okay. Um, so this is, a, 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 as a matter of fact, one of the issues uh, that you have. It's a little bit risky, also, if you buy it used because you don't always know what you're gonna get. Um, so it might take some time. So maybe the easy way to start is, is go for if the one that you call those uh, cheaper Amazon microscopes. Um, get your feet wet a little bit with those. Experiment around with it, and then later on, uh, when you move on to one of the bigger brands, then maybe you're going to appreciate those, uh, yeah, uh, more. Right. Um, yeah. So number option number two. Yes, maybe you do not go for those high end brands, but maybe for um, one that's somewhere in the middle to high. Um, and I do have a company that uh, I've been uh, uh, recommending and doing reviews. Or it's uh, the company Euromax. Um, they also have a, um, a daughter company um, in the United States, and uh, they are making microscopes uh, that uh, yeah also of a of very good quality um, and uh, at a significantly more affordable price. And um, indeed, uh, many hobbyists um, yeah, uh, are buying microscopes uh, from them. Um, for example, they are also used in education, in schools and so on. So they have a wide selection of microscopes. And the good thing is, is uh, you actually have someone to talk to there. Yeah. So this is uh, simply something that I would also recommend. Or another one, yeah, go with the traditional used microscopes. I, If you uh, uh, want to go Olympus, I have a Recommendation: Try to find online the Olympus BH2 platform. Uh, that's a very was a very common platform. Uh, they still have a lot of uh, second-hand. Uh Second-hand uh, accessories available, not manufactured anymore, so you will not get any new parts uh, for those uh, microscopes. But the second-hand market is sufficiently uh, big. But I will tell you, it's also not going to be cheap, right? Um, I'm just saying. Uh, but uh, if you find a, a good one there where you can be sure that it's functional, yeah, then yeah, it's going to be fine. I want to give you a, a, an anecdote now before I actually move on to the next option. Here is uh, several years ago I had the, the lucky possibility to, to get it for free. Uh, yeah, an Olympus CHA microscope from the 1970s. Um, and uh, why did I get it for free? Because it didn't work anymore. Why did it not work? Because I could not turn the focus knobs because the lubrication oil was already so hard that I could not turn it. And uh, basically, I then contacted the um, Olympus service uh, company um, and uh, they fixed it uh, for me. So they cleaned it and after one week I had it back. Um, the, everything worked like new. Everything was completely cleaned, disassembled. Uh, yeah, the, the knobs turned smoothly again. I had to pay 300 euros for that, just getting it cleaned, right? Um, yeah, because it 
that that was for me it was personally worth it because it was a good microscope yeah and uh, um, however um, this is something that I wanted uh, and uh, I'm not saying that yeah for that micro money I could have gotten a new one yeah so you see um, it's a, a lot is, is a personal preference here and, uh, and then another option is is indeed um, if you want to have one that lasts a very long time I mean the others or the cheaper ones also last a long time but if you want to have one where you really can feel okay that is of value then you can actually also buy a modern uh, microscope from one of those big four companies I mean again Olympus because I just happen to have Olympus microscopes myself I mean the CX33 um, microscope I think uh, goes for around 3,000 euros right um, but I will tell you you're not going to see a lot more than for a I don't know with a 300 euro microscope yeah um I just want to yeah uh, say there the, there is a law of diminishing returns um, from a certain point onwards. Just a small increase in quality will actually um, result in a significantly higher price. And so for having fun in the amateur microscopy world and doing nature observation, um, yeah, the, you can do that uh, already with. Uh, I would say honestly, I'm almost I almost not dare to say it. Uh, but people have started with microscopes that cost around 100 euros, introductory microscopes. Honestly, um, yeah, I don't know if this is something that you want to go with, uh, but uh, um, it is possible and people have actually done this as, as well and were very happy. And then they, after some weeks, they upgraded, right? And uh, this way they saved on the long term more money because what uh, your father said is, is that, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's money wasted, yeah, it's kind of throwing away your money. You could also say you're throwing away the money if you overspend on a microscope that you're not happy with, right? Um, so see it as a hobby, see it as a journey. And uh, yeah, I have got, I've got many microscopes standing around and I use uh, different ones for different purposes. Um, but uh, um, I would say it's, uh, put, put a focus not so much on the gear, on the equipment, but on the things that you can do with it. Um, yeah, that's simply my my take uh, on the whole situation. Um, yeah, there is a comment section below. Um, I'd like to hear your opinion um, um, about this. Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe you have different views. Maybe you're able to change my views around here um, a little bit. But the way that I personally see it, I'm seeing this a little bit flexible. Um, get started with your hobby. Enjoy what you're doing. And uh, change your opinions, change your minds around. Um, and uh, see this as a long-term journey. It's not that the microscope has to last for an age, for ages, as you mentioned. I think what has to last for ages is the interest in the hobby, the interest in nature um, yeah, and in, in, in the activities that you're doing. And then honestly, microscopes are only um, a tool uh, to fulfill that larger goal. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.